It's that time of the year again. And we decided we would round off 2022 by sharing our top five whiskeys. I'm Matt, I'm the Whiskey Nerd. I'm Rose and I'm Whiskey New. And these are gonna be our top five whiskeys of 2022. Now I've chosen my top five from whiskeys I reviewed during 2022. So even if the whiskey maybe came out in 2021, I reviewed it in 2022, so it's gonna be on my list. I just chose my top five favorite whiskeys in general, which happens to compromise my entire whiskey collection. <laughs> so why not get on the list? My first whiskey will have to be, and I don't think this will be a surprise to anyone, but the Whistler Mosaic Marsala. It is just so tasty. Like, I, like, as you can see, this is a brand new bottle because I've finished at least two other bottles because <laughs> I love it so much. It's definitely one of those whiskeys where I give it to people who like want a slightly sweeter whiskey, um, maybe haven't tried it a lot. Like, yeah. the notes are just so wonderful it's just hard to describe beyond like it's just wonderful and my first whiskey is going to be the jameson five oak single pot still this is a new whiskey just came out a couple months ago very nice the reason why i like it is there are not many jameson single pot still whiskeys like you'll get jameson whiskeys where they blended single pot still and other whiskeys this is one of the few whiskeys that's actually a pot still whiskey it comes in at 46 percent and it uses irish oak in the aging and there aren't many whiskies coming out there that have Irish oak in the aging because Irish oak is quite hard to find. Very nice, very sweet, has this really nice, really kind of candied sweetness that complements that spice in the pot still and it's just a really, really good whiskey. The second whiskey on my list has to be Rowan Co. And this isn't just any Rowan Co. This is the Rowan Co. that was aged in the Kilahora Pomo brandy cast. So it gives it a really nice like Apple taste and they had a was it the special box where they yeah. had like you get the whiskey and then you get the pomo as well I got some of those because they're so tasty to taste together but this one by itself with the apple notes I absolutely love it up next for me is going to be barrel dovetail this is a very very nice bourbon now when we went to America a few months ago I was hunting for angels envy which is a port finished bourbon very nice very very tasty but when I was there I also picked up the barrel dovetail and this knocks it out of the water it's very very tasty it's cask strength and it wasn't just finished in port it was finished in rum port and cabernet wine barrel so very very sweet very interesting very different and really makes me exciting to try out what else barrel have in their range because they've got a whole range of finished bourbons that I really want to lay my hands on now the third whiskey on my list has to be for Cullen 8 so this one ended up on my list, well, maybe because someone from work, you know, the non-whiskey life, uh, got me this as a gift as they were leaving my team. So I thought it was such a sweet thing and I had never tried it before, really, though I think he secretly had a bottle somewhere around the house. Um, but it's so nice. It's got, was it, kind of like a vanilla-y, spicy kind of notes. And I think it's just a really easy whiskey to drink, so like you come back after a long day, have a little bit of a colonnade, yeah. why not? And I think that they, was it, it's Powers Court, yes. right? And they're starting to do their own whiskey, because this is Source, but yes. they're making their own so This now. is Source, and they have their own whiskey that's coming on stream now. It's the For Cullen Falls, I reviewed it. I'll put a picture of it up over there. Yeah, so they're, it's good that they're moving now into whiskey that they have produced themselves, but yeah. it was still a very nice Source. Very but. nice. Yeah, and my third whiskey is going to be the Polaris 1.1 from Two Stacks. Another sourced whiskey, but what they've done is they've aged it in a very fun way. So this is a single malt whiskey that they aged in ice wine casks from Canada. It was very, very tasty. It's cask strength, but it doesn't drink like it's cask strength. It drinks like it's much softer, much more approachable, and much more full flavored. Now, they do have a pot still whiskey version of this, and I have a bottle of that upstairs, but I haven't yet reviewed it. So that'll probably feature in next year's top whiskeys because that won Irish Pot Still Whiskey of the Year this year. But this is the Polaris 1.1 single malt, and it is still a fantastic whiskey and not one to be missed. The fourth whiskey on my list is from Teeling. Now this one has a little bit more of a story behind it because I was actually flying from London back home to Dublin and I was at the airport and I was actually looking for a whiskey for this fella right here when a lovely gent, was it Aiden, oh gents, sorry, Aiden and Vinny, 
Um, we're at the airport and we got to talk a little bit about blended uh, Japanese whiskeys. And then he's like, do you want to try some whiskey? I was like, of course I want to try some whiskey. And this was one of them and I immediately loved it. I've never seen this one before, but as I learned after that, Teeling does was it airport exclusives and this yeah. is the Brazilian edition, which I didn't expect to find in London, but I got a little bit of Brazil there and it is mind blowing good. Yeah. Calling it sweet doesn't really make a lot no, of sense. It's like it's very it's spicy as well. It quite, yeah. It's quite like a carrot cake. It's very hard to describe just how nice it is. It's got this nutmeggy, clovey. Like in depth. Really sweet. Like a carrot cake. So it was aged in Amburana wood, yes. which is what they use to age like cachaça liqueur. Oh. So it gets this really nice sweetness from that wood. And Teeling finished, it's a 12 year old, it's a 12 year old single malt finished in Amburana cast. It's very, very tasty. Yeah. Now we haven't yet reviewed this. It yeah. will be reviewed in the new year, but. Look out for that one because it's a very, very nice whiskey. It's very nice. And so if you see it, definitely grab it. And yeah. if you're flying out of London, you see two fellas in Vinny, tell them I say hi and get their recommendations on some whiskey. Yeah, my fourth whiskey is going to be one I just reviewed, was it two weeks ago now at this point? Ah. The Dingle Sowen Single Moss. This is a special edition, kind of part of a new series they're releasing. It's on the, called the Wheel of the Year. So it's a different Celtic holidays. You can see the kind of fire symbol there. And there's this nice wheel of symbols coming around. Yeah. Kind of showing that different Celtic holidays, they will be releasing different whiskies. This one though, it's very nice. It's I think 50.5% alcohol. Very nice, very full flavored, single malt, about five years in bourbon casks and about two years in Muscatel wine casks. Very nice, very sweet, but still has that really core dingle profile. So it delivers a whole lot of flavor that you'd expect, rounded out with a nice bit of sweetness. So that's why it's my number four whiskey. My final whiskey has to be Goldspot. And actually it is our final whiskey because it's also my whiskey. We kind of were talking about it and this is a very, very nice whiskey. It's a, again, a special edition yeah. put out by Spot Whiskies to kind of commemorate their 135th year in operation and in making whiskies. And it's a very nice whiskey. It's very tasty. Like it's got a lot of really depths of flavor. What's the percentage on it actually? I think it's 51.4%. Okay. So it has a good bit of weight behind it. Yeah, yeah, a little extra kick too. But it, it does deliver a whole lot of flavor. Kind of perfumey, kind of sweet, yeah. but still got a lot of spice, still got a lot of weight behind it. Very, you very good. a gorgeous. lot. Yeah, yeah, we tried it at Whiskey Live Dublin. And then we just fell in love with it. We just fell in love it was with the first whiskey we tried there. First whiskey we tried there. We tried to try it again, but they had run out of samples by the end of the day. Yeah. So we had to buy ourselves a bottle. Obviously. And it's just a very, very good whiskey. I know it's hard to find, Yeah. especially some retailers and some secondary retailers are doubling the price now because there are fewer and fewer oh. bottles available out there. So if you can find it at recommended price, definitely pick it up because yeah. it won't be repeated again. Mm -hmm. So there you have it, our top five bottles for 2022. Let us know what your favorite bottles from the year are down in the comments below. And then if you have any ideas of what we should review next year, let us know. Yeah, because we put out whiskey reviews on Wednesdays, cocktail recipes on Fridays, and fun videos like this every now and then on a Monday. So if you wanna see more like this, make sure you scroll down, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Sláinte. Bye-bye.